How many understand that? I know I heard Dr. Caldwell talk about the seven pillars and the seven kingdoms. God have people strategically placed in places to win the kingdom and change the kingdom because he didn't come for souls, he came for the kingdoms. He who controls the kingdoms controls the souls. So watch what he does. He keeps the people in darkness so they can control the kingdom that they're in. And guess what? You don't get none of the money. So watch this now. You go buy from them. Isn't that amazing how people are called into worship? Because they've been fed a bill of goods that God don't pay. They run to the world. You buy their CDs and you jump, jerk, jiggle, and shout behind them music that they got going on. But you don't realize they're miserable. He who is without God is miserable every day. He's miserable every day. So guess what I desire? I desire to have God. I desire to have a relationship with God. Because a relationship with God is everything. It's everything. If you're in this church and you don't have no relationship with God, you need to develop a relationship and develop it immediately. Don't let your job be the reason you don't have a relationship with God. Don't let your children or a spouse be the reason you don't have a relationship with God. You need a relationship with God. Because watch this now. Kingdom takeover is not possible for you if you don't have no relationship. It ain't possible. Because watch this now. You can't hear. Can't hear. Watch this now. But every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. Watch this now. Then when lust is conceived, it bringeth forth sin, and sin, when it is finished, bringeth forth death. Oh, I like to say it like this. It produces LSD. How I many of y'all know about that, that, that hallucinant drug, LSD? That thing was popular in the 60s and the 70s is what I heard. I don't know. But I heard it was popular, making people think that they could fly, jump off buildings. Watch what it does. It gives you hallucinations, making you think that you could do what you can't do. Watch this now. God puts LSD in the Bible, tells you about it. It's called lust, sin, and death. It will kill you dead. It'll kill you dead. Now, let's look at something. Look at some, I'm, I'm going to show you this, what the Bible says concerning this in the, uh, 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 um, in, in, in the message translation. Watch what it says in the message translation. He says, anyone who meets a testing challenge head on and manages to stick it out is, is, is mightily fortunate. For such persons, loyalty, loyally in love with God, the rewards is life and more life. Don't let anyone under pressure uh, to give it to evil, uh, to, give, to give evil. Uh, God is trying to trip me up. God is in, in, uh, impervious to evil and puts evil on no one. The temptation... To give into evil comes from us and only us. Then it says, we have no one to blame but ourselves. Then it goes so forth, it says, lust gets pregnant and has a baby. The baby is sin. Sin grows up to adulthood and becomes a real killer. Wow. Becomes a real killer. Wow. Think about this for a moment now. Bible talks about lust as being a leech. Let's go there real fast here. Let's go there real fast. Proverbs chapter number 30. Look at verse number 15. Proverbs chapter number 30. Verse number 15. 15. If you are in bondage to lust tonight, you got to do warfare. Yes. When I was in bondage to lust, I had to wage war. How did I wage war? I had to find somebody who was teaching on lust to help me get out. Amen. So here's what I did. I called Dr. Dollar's ministry. Told him I was in bondage to lust and I need some help. I ain't got no money to buy the CD or the tape. Please send it to me. I need your help. Guess what they did? They sent me two tapes. I called Kenneth Copeland Ministry and say, I'm in bondage to lust. I need help. Help me. They sent me a, 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 a tape, and then they sent me a four-tape series from Gloria Copeland that said, Holiness, the final frontier. Amen. Brother Copeland's tape was on dealing with your flesh. So here's what I did. I put those CDs and those cassettes in the player and let it play all night long. While I'm sleeping, it's getting in my spirit. Because watch this now. If you're going to be free, you're going to have to break free. You got to break free. You're not going to be able to come out just being passive. This is the day that the Lord has made. It ain't going to happen. You got to wage warfare. You got to wage warfare. I was waging so much warfare to the point I was wearing tapes out. 
but I still was playing them over and over again. When I was going to work, I had them in my ear because I'm waging warfare. The enemy wants to kill you and stop your, uh, your destiny because he knows if you can get to your destiny, he knows that you're going to bring a limitless amount of people with you. Woo! How many people are going to come out of your situation, come out of that situation because you came out? Yeah, 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 yeah. Dr. 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 Caldwell and I was talking earlier how Bishop Ivy Hill says you need a contemporary hero and a historical hero. A historical hero is somebody who has done in biblical times what you are trying to do. A contemporary hero is somebody who's in your modern day doing what you're trying to do. So you use them as a point of reference, as an example. The Bible said, follow them who through faith and patience inherit the promise. So if I'm going to come out, I got to look at somebody and saw how they got out. My God. I'm telling you. You need a point of reference. All right, I see my time right there. Watch this now, Proverbs chapter number 30, yeah. verse number 15. Y'all there? Yeah. All right, all right. Y'all y'all enjoying yourself tonight? Yeah. All right, I just wanted to give y'all a heads up. I'm not like uh, President Bush. If you throw any shoes at me, I'm not going to duck. I'm going to pick them up. I'm going to throw them right back at you. <laughs> just telling you. <laughs> Watch this now, Proverbs chapter 30, verse number 15. Verse number 15 says, the horse leech have two daughters crying give give there are three things that are never satisfied yea four things say if not it is enough now remember we said our subject is lust and unsatisfying fire now look at verse 15 again the horse leech have two daughters crying give give there are three things that are never satisfied yea four things say if not it is enough the grave it don't say I'm satisfied Y'all ever pass by the graveyard and heard the graveyard screaming, hey, don't nobody else die. We cool. We got enough people in the ground. You never heard that, have you? Look at the next part. The next part says, and the barren womb. You never heard it say, I'm satisfied either. Huh? A woman who desires to give birth to children or have children is never satisfied if she can't. In some cases, psychologically, they feel less than a woman. But in our society, some women just don't care if they don't have no period. You know, don't care if they have no period, just don't want to be dealing with the house and the headache. My advice to you, if you don't want to have children, you can't handle them, don't have them. Just don't do it. Watch what he says again, the grave and the barren womb. Then it says, and the earth that is not filled with water. You never hear it say, I'm satisfied. Anybody ever been driving through the desert? Heard the desert say, hey, we all right? No, the earth needs water. This is why we, this earth is over 70% water. This is why you need water to live. Go seven days without water, we won't see you no more. Watch this now, watch the next verse. The grave, it don't say I'm satisfied either. We said, we just read, I'm sorry about that. The grave and the barren womb and the earth that is not filled with water and the fire that saith not, it is enough. Now, I'm from California. We have raging fires all the time. Y'all see it on TV, burning up acres of land. There is not one firefighter who can report to you that the fire came to him personally and said, I burned up enough acres of land, put me out now. It's not there. Watch this now. Lust is like a raging fire. It burns out of control and it will consume everything that is in its path. If you get in its path, it will kill you. It'll kill you. So notice this now. The Bible said lust is like a leech. A leech sucks the very life out of you. This is why people die on drugs. This is why they OD. Why? Because that spirit sucked the life out of them. It sucked the life out of them. And watch this. So when it kills you, it moves on to the next prey. And it kills them too. And it moves on and it kills that person. It kills that person. And watch what it's doing. It's aborting the very life that God has invested. See, we don't even know how much destiny God has invested in us. This is why you are members of this church, to figure out what your destiny is. Wow. Come on, somebody, watch this now. Watch this now. Because, see, watch now. God has given this man, this set man, a vision for this ministry. Your vision that he gave, you have to fit over into his vision. If it can't, you're in the wrong place. Isn't it amazing how we have people who are in bigger churches that shouldn't be there. Why? Because you need a personal relationship with your pastor. You're in so much trouble and so many, you got so many problems in your life to the point you don't need an appointment. 
You need him right now. You don't need to set an appointment with him, then go through this door through this person, then go through this door with this person, and then just to get to him, which means it may be two months down the line. Hey, I'm in trouble now. I need a word now. I need some help now. I don't want to wait two months from now. I don't want to.